So apparently I'm sick a little. Wow, and white as paper. Good morning. This is what it looks like outside. Not a fan. Snow, hate it. Come on, go outside. Hi, where's your toy? Come on, get your toy. Like all 68 of them. Can I have that toy? No, I guess not. Leave it. Good boy, good boy. Hello? Oh God, okay. I'm a little congested right here and I feel like I can't hear and I'm on my period so it's just super good today starting out really good looks like it might snow again today but I thought it would be fun to like get out there and go maybe take you along with me maybe get a coffee even though I literally already have one and it's 2 p.m. but you know it's my day off I don't care I had a hair mask in last night and I rinsed it out and now I'm gonna style but it's the it's looking questionable Oh my god, and my hair gets everywhere. This is so annoying. Maybe I'll just shave it off. Just kidding, I won't. No, I'm not doing it. Once in my life, I need to shave my head bald. Just once. Just to know what it's like. And if I hate it, it'll grow back. I'm gonna do a little middle part. The bangs are not happening. If I do, like, actual bangs, it's gonna drive me insane. Oh my god, this could either go really good or really bad. <laughs> Wow, I have no words. That literally took half an hour. Do you wanna go for a ride? Wanna go for a ride? Okay, I don't know where we're going or what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go do something fun. I'm not even gonna look. Don't even care how I look right now. It's 32 degrees, so that's gonna be really interesting. I don't know what this outfit is, but it's gonna have to work. Don't look at my dishes, please, for the love of God. Okay, bag first, dog, me. Okay, let's go. I was gonna try and install this, but that's not happening. Not gonna work today. I almost had a meltdown because I couldn't find my phone, but we're chilling now. Thank God. All right, here we go. I need a coffee, like ASAP. see what's out there <laughs> what's this? What's could I get a small uh, latte please there you are thank and you by the way I love your hair thank you it so much so pretty. <laughs> thank you this is actually a bad hair day right now but oh, I love it thank I love you it. that's so I'll sweet right okay thanks what's the name blue <laughs> that's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna hit. Nothing about winter is uh, appealing to me. Like everything's dead and it's cold and you can't even function, so. I think some people would rather experience four seasons. I would much rather be on the west coast where it's sunny all the time and it's deadly hot. I love that. I thrive in sweaty hot. Where can I walk? I don't know where to go. Should we go to like downtown? That might be kind of fun. Actually, yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, shut up. Who was gonna tell me that I have stuff on my shirt? My hair looks like Weird Al. Are you ready to go for a walk? Okay, let's go. Don't. It's the train. I love a train. Oh, please said, uh, I'm not jumping. It's a train. Oh, not a good noise. Oh, what the hell 
is that? Midwest cord. <laughs> Usually this area is like covered in flowers and stuff. It's really cute. Maybe it's not a good idea to be out here while I'm congested, but I don't really care. I like to self-sabotage. Ready? Let's go. I look like I should be in, what's that? What's a good like Midwest emo? Like modern football. I look like I should be in like a modern football music video. Okay, something is going on where it's hard to breathe right here and then my ears feel like they're like plugged or whatever. It's not, you know, the C word. It's just being cold. I wanted to go to like a bookstore or something, but uh, I just don't feel like it right now. I need to eat some food. What's quick that I could get some food from? And that's why I need to install the tripod. Maybe I'll do Panera. I don't know why, but soup sounds really good. Thank you for choosing Panera. What can I get for you today? Can I get creamy tomato soup, then uh, Napa almond chicken salad? Oh, I love you. Do you love me? Even a little bit? I don't care about anything I have to say. Damn, I look tired. What's new? Bluey. What do you see? What do you see out there? Blue's favorite thing is the drive-thru because he gets to see people. <laughs> like more than anything, he loves the drive-thru. Thank you. Okay. You too. Can you see? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've realized that I haven't eaten today. Isn't that so awesome? It's 5 p.m. I woke up at 11, laid in bed till 1. I've only had two cups of coffee. Isn't that just super? Ugh. It's pretty good. Sandwich. I'm not a tomato girl. Can't, like, yeah. Can't do it. Tomato soup, totally different, but. I need to put away my laundry. And I thought we could hang out. I've been putting off putting these away for like two days, so it's definitely time. So I feel like a lot has happened. I feel like my life has changed a lot since I started posting on YouTube. Actually, a crazy amount. Obviously, I moved into a one bedroom apartment. I love having my own kitchen. If you watched some of my previous videos, you know that I had like a kitchenette before and I had to use like a like a campfire stove <laughs> that would plug in and like make food on it which was fine it worked but i'm definitely grateful for having a stove like a real one. Oh my god i literally haven't even done anything i don't know why i'm so tired but yeah i moved in here in august 2021 yeah june 2021 was the worst month of my entire life i was recovering from that while also moving and yeah it's just been crazy. I think I'm doing okay now. Some days are definitely harder than others. I feel like, um, how do I put into words? Like, little things that shouldn't really matter feel so big. Even like the most minor inconveniences feel like my mom passed all over again. It just literally feels like that every time and everything feels so heavy. But I have been feeling way better lately, so thank God. Ooh, for a second there, I was like, Ugh, when is this gonna get better? Cause um, I can barely handle getting up and brushing my teeth and like interacting with <laughs> with people, you know? And I also wanted to talk about, uh, it's the elephant in the room is what it is. If you haven't noticed, Zoe is not around. She's fine, listen, she's fine. She is totally good. But I do need to tell you guys that I did have to rehome Zoe. I know a lot of you love Zoe and are here because of Zoe. Let me just explain the situation. October 2020, I started a new job where I would be gone from home three days out of the week. And I could take Blue with me to work, but not Zoe, obviously. So Zoe was by herself for three out of four days of the week. 
And I thought about that like before I took the job and I thought that I could make it work and this job was really important to me. And honestly, I thought it was going okay for a while, but Zoe started to show signs of like depression. Which if you don't have ferrets, it sounds silly. Yeah, ferrets can get depressed if you didn't know. They are super social animals and they get depressed and lonely if they don't have constant interaction with another anybody, a human, another ferret, somebody. And then on the days when I was home, I would be working on other stuff. And you know, it just came to a place where I couldn't give her what she really needed. I exhausted every option. What if I got like a ferret sitter to come and like hang out with her while I was gone? But that would have been too much money. I lived too far and wasn't practical. I even thought about, okay, what if I got another ferret? They're both gonna be stuck in the cage. You know what I'm saying? It just that like, it wasn't making sense. I was like, okay, it's probably time to start looking to get her a new home, which was, oh my God. It was one of the most heart-wrenching things because that was my little baby. I found this local like pet rehoming website which basically keeps pets out of shelters, you know, and I met this girl. She's around my age. She was interested. The only thing was that she had two ferrets already. Zoe in the past, she wasn't like mean to ferrets, but she did not like them clearly. But since things have changed and she was showing signs of depression and loneliness, I think it's worth the try to see if she could bond with other ferrets again. Do you want some food? Is it dinner time? I figured why not give it a try. Worst case scenario, they don't get along and you find somebody else. I brought her to meet the ferrets and they were totally cool. They were just chilling, it was really cool. And it kind of felt like right. So Zoe lives with her now and she's doing amazing. I'll put some pictures up. She's doing better, honestly. And we keep up, we text and I visit every couple months I'll visit. Yeah, it's like a perfect scenario. Dude, why are you chewing this on my clean clothes? Go chew over there. Love you. There is nothing wrong with rehoming an animal to the right people. Life changes and circumstances change, especially when you're 18 to 23. It wasn't an impulse buy animal and then you were like, oh, this is a lot. You know, like I had Zoe for four years. Sometimes it's necessary to rehome animals for their benefit. The sunset is a little beautiful right now. That's kind of gorge. But what else other than that? Other than moving, Zoe, new job, and everything else. Like things are pretty, you know. My mom passing literally shattered the structure of my entire being. <laughs> There's no like lesser way to describe it other than that. In the human experience, one of the worst things to endure is the death of a loved one. There's no pain like it. And it's all very like, individual to the person and the kind of relationship that you had and yeah it's really complicated i feel like i've been relearning who i even am and i was doing that even before i think i'm still learning who i am and what i'm about and who i want to be and what kind of things i'm interested in what i'm passionate about you know so i'm kind of on that journey right now i think it sucks <laughs> it sucks and it's hard everything in life is hard and I think it's worth it. But there was a time where I didn't think it was worth it. But now I think it's worth it. <laughs> it's a good angle. Oh my god, I have to fix this. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I want to paint this mirror red or blue or something and I don't know if I want to keep that skateboard or not. The back is kind of fun. Eh. Eh, I don't know. I need to put stuff on the walls, move stuff around, I need to get new like, I don't know. Just a lot of new stuff. Today was a cute little moment. I hope you guys had fun. But yeah, I'm excited to kind of like embark on life. I want to start reading books. I think that sounds really fun. I think it's like a hot girl thing. Like reading books is cute. But eh. Meh. Thanks for joining me on this incredibly boring day. I'm just taking life like day by day right now. You know? I don't know, it's hard. Navigating grief is really hard. Do you have anything to say? You just burped. That was gross. Bye. See you next time.